I'm Anil Kumar and in this video I'll explain you a very simple technique to find equation of transformed polynomial function. We are taking a cubic function in this particular example. Question is, describe the transformations that were applied to y equals to x cube to produce the following graph. Then write the equation of the transformed function. So the graph given to us is right there. We are also given three points. One is 1, 4, the other one is 2, 1, and then we have 3, minus 2. Now the simple technique is, first to understand what is y equals to x cube, then we'll compare and find the equation of this transform function. y equals to x cube, so that means uh, if we give some values to x and find some values of y, key values are as you know, for 0, y is 0, for 1, y is 1, and for minus 1, y is minus 1, where we are saying y is equals to x cube, right? So, cube of 1 is positive 1, cube of 0 is 0, cube of minus 1 is minus 1, correct? So, that gives us three points, and these are for the function y equals to x cube. Is it okay? Now the function given to us is transformed. What do we notice? What we notice is that the point which was at 0, 0 has been moved to a point 2, 1. So that means it has been moved to point 2, 1. That really means that there is a horizontal translation of two units, right? To the right and one unit so that is 1. Second thing which you notice is that the point next to that which is like one unit away in the original function should have been one unit up or one unit down, right? So if I take a unit which is 1 to the right, what we notice is that it has moved from 1 to minus 2. That means it has moved 3 units down. So it has, if I move from 2 to 3 x position. Let me use another ink. So, so what we know is that if I move one unit to the right, then the next value is 1, 2, 3 down, minus 3. Correct? So if I move one unit to the right here in this case, in that case, we are not going up or down by 1, we are going up or down by, by 3 units, right? So that means that the stretch factor is 3, right? So that means A equals to 3. Since we are moving down, not upwards, while moving right, originally the graph could have been like this, right? It clearly indicates that there is a reflection, right? There is a reflection. You would also find reflection from end behavior. So for reflection, we can say end behavior. How? The graph moves from quadrant, you can say, 3, 2, 2, 2, 2, 4. It means that the leading coefficient is negative. So negative leading coefficient. Is that okay? So bringing all these things together, can you write down the equation of the transformed graph? So let's call this as g of x. So for us, g of x has been transformed. First is the translation. We'll start from inside. It is x move 2 units to the right means x minus 2. We'll assume there is no horizontal stretch or compression. We'll put all of them on the vertical side. x cube is the function. It has been moved 1 unit up, so I'll write plus 1 here. Since it moves 3 units next time, that means there is a stretch of 3. And as the end behavior changes, the graph has been reflected on x-axis. So we get negative here. So negative 3 times x minus 2 whole cube plus 1 becomes the equation for this particular graph. I hope you understand and appreciate this strategy. Let's look into this strategy once again. G 
check the change in the point which was originally at origin. It moved from origin to two units right, one up. That means two right, one up. And then check the point which is one unit away from this to the right. If I move to the right, I'm supposed to get higher value, but in this case we are getting lower value. That means negative. And that lower value we expected one, right? But we have three, not one, which is three times. Three times. So three times, three times. So that means there is a vertical stretch by a factor of 3 and that gives you the number 3 there, correct? Now, knowing all this, we can describe the transformation. So we can write it is reflection on x-axis, that is first part, second part is vertical stretch. by a factor of 3 and then we see horizontal translation to right by 2 units and vertical translation. by a unit upwards. So that is how we can actually describe the transformation for the given graph. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.